All right, YouTube family, what one? Maverick in the space again. Extenuating circumstances. <laughs> you know what somebody up on the road I run up and down and go out with me little things? I'm here listening to the news on the radio. Just know, the breaking news was that the Constitutional Court of Jamaica ruled that the second extension granted to the Director of Public Prosecution, Ms. Paula Llewellyn, it is unconstitutional. So therefore, she has to step down into me. Remember, Ms. Llewellyn did reach retirement age already and she got one extension from the government. That three-year extension run its course and with that three-year they up the government, you have another extension. Well, that extension, the second extension now, apparently the members of the opposition took it to the Constitutional Court. We said that extension was unconstitutional. And the Constitutional Court held up the judgment and said unconstitutional and she have stepped up. Now, I hold for legal technicalities tonight. But we have some common sense analysis where we are going to put on it. Now, since that ruling, in, immediately after the ruling almost, the Minister of Justice put out a statement that the government intends to appeal the decision of the Constitutional Court. If you go back, you know, this is obvious, you know, you know. If you go get the second extension to our tenure upheld, you know. Now, when me hear that, me have to say, hold on, man. The director of the public prosecution reached a retirement age already. They extend the retirement age one time. The extension they done. They sought to extend it again. It has been ruled unconstitutional. And government now are going to spend time and money if you go appeal that decision by the Constitutional Court. I want somebody in Jamaica can be director of public prosecution. <laughs> I don't understand it. Eh? Why the mafia government go to so much length? To make sure, say, this particular individual hold on to the position of the director of public prosecution. Me don't understand it. And as we tell you, say, common sense time, you know, and a legal technical this time now. Why on God's earth would the government feel a need to go to as far as to appeal the decision of the constitutional court to grant a second extension? Pass someone who passed every time at age already. It's one of two things, you know. It's one of few things. Is it not just politics? Because this is basically a political defeat, you know. Member says the opposition carried to the constitutional court, you know. The opposition tell them say it's unconstitutional. The opposition carry to the constitutional court, and the constitutional court rule aligned with what the opposition has said. So it's a it's a political defeat, basically, you know. That the government apparently breached the constitution and now they are being embarrassed. So the politics in it now, you know. The ego and the politics now. Because is the, the opposition carried to the fore now. That are one reason, one possible motive for them to try to pursue it. Time and limited resources they must spend and make that their appeal now. Is it that time is still in a secret for people? We don't know. Why she can't why she can't be replaced? Why is she indispensable? What we can't find nobody else in Jamaica to be the director of public prosecution. We don't understand this thing, your people. As we see the common sense part of the analysis, this you know. Leave the King's Council them for deal with the technical and legal nuances of the case. But just common sensical people. Look on it. This is not a young BPP in our prime, you know. This is a public servant who passed them, them, them retirement age, you know. Because of the, you know, the sensitivity and the, the importance and the pivotal nature of our job, them get an ex extension. Find the typical civil servant can't get that, you know. But them get an extension for you. Extension done. Them force you to get an, an extension. That in and of itself, you know. Should have sparked some questions, you know. Why were they seeking to get that second extension in the first place? All right, the, the, the extension ruled no unconstitutional. And they were going to appeal it. 
Oh man, this is not past the common sense, these people. It's either the, the political egos at play or it is something more strategic while it is necessary to have this particular director in that position. Eh? And when you think about the facts, eh, the opposition are pushed back and having her there. Then you have to think now, say, hold on, no common sense again, people. If it's something where the opposition are pushed back from having her there, then the equivalent pushback of the government in trying to keep her there. For go through them and length and breadth to keep her there. There's something no more seen as something. Think about it, no man. Think about it, no man. Common sense people, man. Common sense nation, YouTube family, Maverick Nation. Common sense people. Me don't understand it. Alright. But now man course of things. If you go through all of this, right, and you realize, all right, you know, we breach the constitution. She passed the retirement age already. She gets an accent already. You know, replace her. You know, find somebody else competent put in on the job. Are they telling us that there is no one else competent enough to do that job? So you have to break the bank and break your ego to get her back there? No, people. Something wrong with Jamaica, people. And of course, yeah, you know, you know, it's a political thing, this, you know. So you know, so the people on the other side of the fence, say, I'm gonna say, hey, 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 and the people on the other side of the fence. But, but, but me don't like no. Me don't like the government explain. Explain why the the desperate need to keep this particular director a public prosecution in the job under the circumstances as they have evolved. Why? What it will look like common sense. It's like when you think with common sense and try to be rational and then something, you know, it's like you run the risk of driving yourself crazy in Jamaica, you know. Because things don't work off a common sense and rational in Jamaica, you know. Things work off a agenda and motive and alignment and friendship and knowings and them something around Jamaica, you know. So when people like me, they try to apply rational and common sense to a saga like this. And that's the mistake we make. Eh? No, sir. I suppose more information will emerge eventually. And I suppose, may I hope that some answers to the question we may ask will emerge out of the additional information we will expect say, should emerge as the saga continues to evolve. But it's a bad for me. I want somebody in a Jamaica can be director of public prosecution. Maverick out. Maverick out. <laughs> Maverick out.